Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can generate a pie chart in SPSS using the Legacy Dialogs option. Go for Graphs, Legacy Dialogs, and then choose Pie. Make sure you select Summaries for Groups of Cases and click on Define. Now select the variable of which you want to see a pie chart, in my case location of the student, and move it to define slices by. That's all for the basics. Click on OK and in your output you should now get a nice pie chart. As you might notice it places the locations here in a legend and I actually often want them in the slices themselves. You can do this by double clicking in the output on the graph to actually get the chart editor. Then go for Elements and click on Show Data Labels. Now at the moment it mentions not displayed, the location. So click on that one and then move it up. It will now show the count and then the location, so I'll move it one further up. I actually don't want to see the count, so I'll uh, remove that one. And I do want to see the percentage, so I'll move that one up. Nothing in the diagram has changed yet, so don't forget to click on Apply. And now we have the location and the percentage. You can also change the position of the labels if you want to. Since I now have the locations in the slices, I don't need the legend anymore. So I can go for options and then say hide legend. There's a lot more you can do. For example, if you want to change the color of a slice, click once on the slice and actually the whole circle is now selected. Click again on the slice and now only the selected slice is actually selected. Click on fill and select the color you want. Click on apply and it now has nicely colored this one in red. Notice if you click too often on the slice it will actually lock the fill color. So then in that case uh, click somewhere outside the circle and slowly click on it twice again until it's actually unlocked. You can also go for depth and angle and for example add a 3D effect, uh, apply. I wouldn't recommend doing something like this but okay, uh, it's possible. Uh, you can rotate, you, there's plenty of things you can actually do here but these I think are the fundamentals. Um, if you close the chart editor, don't worry, the changes will be saved automatically in your output. You do will have to save your output file of course then. 